judges are Lucy and Jopair, Al Walensky and Dolby Shirley. The timekeeper is Jane Broadfoot. Counting at the knockdowns, Al Bicek. The attending physicians at ringside, Dr. Cliff Omansky and James A. Gaines. Your referee is Joey Curtis. This is the main event of the afternoon. 15 rounds of boxing for the IBF Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing, in the blue corner, the challenger, fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, with a professional record of 27 wins, two defeats with 18 KOs. Here is Rockin, Robin Blake. And in the red corner, from Detroit, Michigan, his professional record is 22 wins, one defeat, also with 18 KOs. He weighs 134 and three quarter pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the IBF lightweight champion of the world, Jimmy Paul. A still out crowd here, standing room only at the sports pavilion. Here in Las Vegas, Nevada, the referee Joey Curtis giving the final instructions to Blake on the left, the champion Paul on the right. And Jimmy Paul came in at 134 and three quarters. A quarter pound under the limit, Robin Blake at 134. And you can see the height reach advantage go to Robin Blake. Jimmy Paul, two years older at age 25, got the chance to win the title from Harry Arroyo when Blake, who was scheduled to meet Arroyo for the title, injured a hand in training and had to pull out. And so Blake now gets a delayed chance, but against the new champion, this young man, Jimmy Paul, making his first defense. There are many champions here at ringside for this uh, fight uh, that uh, boxing experts expect to be a dandy. Donald Curry, a stablemate of Robin Blake, the welterweight champion. Gene Hatcher, the junior welterweight champion. Both of the WBA, they're here to cheer on Robin Blake. Milton McCrory from the cross stable of uh, Jimmy Hall. Uh, Jimmy Paul is here as well, and uh, we have the usual star-studded group, including Rocky himself, Sylvester Stallone. Underway in round number one, scoring on the 10-point loss system by three judges at ringside, Dalby Shirley of Las Vegas, Lucian Jobert of New Orleans, and Al Walensky of Miami. Well, Blake is doing what he should be doing, Tim, and that is boxing, staying on the outside, keeping Paul at long distance. Uh, Paul is a very patient fighter. He works his way in with the left jab. He sets you up. Very powerful, very devastating right hand. Jimmy Paul has lost only once, a controversial decision loss to Darrell Tyson. He wants badly to face Tyson again and erase that blot on his record. Robin Blake has lost twice to former champion Harry Arroyo, but prior to Arroyo having won the title. And to Tyrone Crawley is expected to meet Livingstone Bramble very shortly for the WBA championship. If Blake stay consistent with that jab of his, he's going to create a lot of problems for Paul because Paul has problems with southpaws, especially tall guys. Bill, one thing that was very impressive about Paul when he won the title against Royal was that he doesn't present you much of a target. He gets turned well and kind of points that shoulder at you, and he's a hard guy to hit. He's a very good defensive fighter as well as a big bomber, isn't he? Excellent defensive fighter, Tim. He has good balance. That's the key to being a good defensive fighter. Now, watching Blake here, he's throwing that jab, and it's a straight left hand. And he had better hook behind it, or Jimmy's going to nail him with that right hand. Now the left hand come from Robin Blake. He has a solid right jab. The left hand is his big weapon. It's also the hand that has suffered injury before. And the one that delayed his title opportunity against the Royal. And there's a right hand shot from Jimmy Paul that landed. Blake says the hand is fine. He's physically and mentally in the best prepared state of his entire young boxing career. Ray, so far, Robin Blake is sticking to a pretty good fight when he's moving to his right away from Jimmy Paul's right hand. It's a matter of, uh, it's mind over matter. Now Paul should try to move, move Blake the other way. Well, what you might see in uh, Robin Blake, in fact, is history. Once he gets hit by a good shot, he resorts to fighting inside. And that is a big mistake he can make with Jimmy Paul. Approaching the 32nd mark remaining in round one, scheduled for 15, the championship distance for the Boxing Federation. Newest one. Organization. To the 32nd mark we go, and a left by Blake landed. And a good combination by Paul, and that wobble Blake, he backs up. Solid combination scored by the champion. Notice how quickly Paul gets back on balance when he throws a punch. Scheduled 
for 15. Tim Ryan with Gil Clancy, Sugar Ray Leonard live in Las Vegas watching Robin Blake the challenger in pink. And the champion Jimmy Paul from the Bronx stable in Detroit, Michigan. Blake was rocked by a tremendous left hook of Jimmy Paul. And um, fortunately, the round was just about over because he was hurt. Early in round two, a sellout crowd here in the sports pavilion. Knowledgeable boxing fans in Las Vegas all turned out for this fight. More than 4,000 and literally standing room. Jimmy Paul is what you consider a technician in boxing because he utilizes every punch, the left jab, the right hand, the hook. He sets you up. Gil, you often say that when a boxer wins the title, it makes him about 25% better automatically. And talking to Jimmy Paul, watching him work in the gym the other day, you can see that new confidence, poise, and just that championship attitude. Jim, I've never seen it to fail. Well, Always it, makes a fighter a better fighter. And a little richer, too, Gil. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good, Good point, Ray. You sure would know about that, Ray. <laughs> Jimmy Paul is allowing Robin Blake to move the way he wants to move. Again, we, we mentioned that Jimmy Paul is a very, very patient guy. Real early in the fight, that it begins to be about the eighth or ninth round. <laughs> Tell him, stop, you know, he's going to have to do something different. Because Blake is scoring points with that right jab. Paul with 18 knockouts in his 22 victories and went the distance to beat Arroyo for the title, 15 rounds. Blake, 18 knockouts in his 27 wins. Under a minute to go, round number two. Paul is throwing out now what I call range fighters. He's really not trying to nail him, but he's just trying to get the range. What you normally see in Robin Blake in his past history, he used to jump on his opponent, throw a lot of punches, but I'm sure he respects the talent of Jimmy Paul, and that's because he was boxing. He realized the punching power. Blake was starting to do just what you said. He threw a dangerous wide left hand to the body against Jimmy Paul. Well, you know, I, I expected the right hand of Paul to land, but it was the left hook that did the most damage. And his left jab has been consistent and quite accurate. And into the end of round number two, a flurry by Blake. Final seconds. 